hi everyone hope you are doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel my name is Saurabh Bharti Microsoft Dynamics this professional and this is my platform where I come and share the knowledge and experience with you all so now today's video is uh, a start of a new series on my youtube channel and this series will be dedicated to explore the features around the copilot and AI and we will try to explore the features which can work with Dynamics and which can work without Dynamics also but can be the useful for us and for our customers where we can go and talk to them. So first uh, one which I have uh, picked up is the recent release from Microsoft which is your Microsoft Copilot for Finance Preview. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to see that how it is going to be utilized, how you can sign up for this and then you can explore this product on your own. So that's what we are going to talk about in today's uh, video. So Microsoft uh, Copilot for Finance uh, is the application which is based on AI and the Copilot. And this is specifically for the finance department in any organization because we, as we know that a uh, lot of finance organizations, a uh, lot, lot, of, lot, lot of people in the finance department have uh, uh, a huge data sets and huge, uh, huge Excel files which they need to analyze and they need to uh, compile that data, uh, do their reporting and comparison, find out the analyst the trend and trend analysis and using that data. Now that data uh, can be from any offline source, can be from any external system, and also it can be from Microsoft Dynamics 365 as well. So you can connect the data from Microsoft Dynamics 365 as well. But for now, we will be just talking about that, how this application look like, and then how we can utilize this, how can we explore this basically. The idea is to explore this. So the step one is that you can search for Microsoft Copilot for Finance. You will land on this page and you can click on the sign up uh, uh, preview where you can just uh, uh, enter your email address and things and then you can just uh, log in. Once you log in, it will ask you, it will give you two options. One is that you can install Copilot for Finance for the Outlook or you can install this Copilot for Finance for the Excel. Now in this video, I have installed this for fine uh, copilot finance for finance for the Excel. Then the next one is uh, then once you do that, this will be available for you as an add in. And now you are good to start with that. Now the next thing which we need to do is that let's start, let's open one Excel spreadsheet and see that how this will be available and how you can add this uh, particular add in to your Microsoft Excel. Now, if you see my screen on the right hand side corner, you have got this add in which you can edit. And then here you have a small window, which is a connector for this add in. It is similar to like our open in Excel with Dynamics, which we utilize. Now, how do you get this add in? So you need to click on the uh, uh, file option on the top. And once you click on that, you can click on this get add in option. And once you click on the uh, get add in option, this will uh, open a pop up for you to select the require add in. So here on this page, you can just search for copilot. And the moment you search for the copilot, uh, this will give you this option. And once you click on this add, this is going to add the, uh, the copilot uh, for finance add in to your Excel. So this is how you can get this particular add-in to your Microsoft Excel. Now let's see that how we can uh, use this, how we can utilize the feature, what it does actually. Okay. So now you have two options. You can analyze the data uh, with, uh, you, you can select the data and you can put this data into your uh, Excel spreadsheet. So that can be coming. As I said, now that can be offline data or any other system, or you can connect that data from Microsoft Dynamics 365 as well. Now, let's say you can uh, extract the voucher transaction for finance. You can extract the cash flow forecast transactions. Uh, you can extract, let's say, inventory data and so on. 
but let's see how this data will work and what this uh, copilot for finance can uh, do for you if you have the data so now uh, one of the thing which we have is that uh, we have and got we have got the option here that preview uh, with the sample data just to check that what uh, this application can do so i'm going to click on this and if you see that uh, it has added the data uh, for me like a demo trip budget and demo bank statement so what this data is that the demo trip budget is giving me the every weekday and the date and the what is the expenditure category and what is the budget amount so every day for every date i have the budget amount by the category now uh, let's say i have uh, uh, let's say this is about the expense analysis of any employee uh, or your organization where i have now this is my budget data for every date now this is my original data which has be, which is my actual expenditure through my credit card uh, thing where i have the transaction date where i have transaction type amount and currency and the uh, transaction description and the category so which means this is my actual data now let's say i want to analyze this data i want to reconcile whether every date what i budgeted how much i budgeted how much i spent is there a variation and so on so i can do certain uh, different types of analysis using this data but let's see that how automatically copilot for finance can help me doing the more analysis so if what i will do is next next i will click on this uh, reconcile data and if i click on this it is asking me that which two seats you want to reconcile so i would say i want to generate this and i want to use the other seat is the bank statement okay so then i have the option of uh, selecting the different tables so first you can select the sheet uh, from your excel and then the you can select the table which you want then you have got this next option i will just click on this and if you see on the top it also shows you the progress bar bar where you can see that what you are analyzing now i click on the next uh, it is uh, uh, it is creating the reconciliation rules for you and you can modify these rules so what it is doing is that uh, you need to at least select the two columns from each of the data set so which you can reconcile and uh, possibly do the analysis uh, based on those two columns so now here automatically it has selected uh, the date expenditure amount category and the budget and here i am having the date again and the category again which is same and then the amount so basically i am doing the budget versus the actual expenditure analysis here so i can just uh, keep this or i can regenerate this uh, uh, mapping or the reconciliation based on the columns but i will keep this and then i click on the next now it is creating the reconciliation report for me and once it is done it will give me this particular reconciliation sheet so it has automatically created the third sheet for me now uh, if i see this it is also telling me now so this is giving me the report name and it is giving me that uh, which two tables it has uh, reconciled so it has given me that unmatched there are 20 transactions so by the date so let's say for the entertainment category uh, it it has uh, given me that okay uh, for 19th of february uh, it was a 160 budgeted amount what you i could find in the actual bank statement only the 30 so there is a difference of 130 and then the miscellaneous has 10 and then 130 is this so you can maybe possibly see that this difference is because of this someone has uh, uh, entered the amount uh, Uh, in a wrong category or something so you 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 can just analyze this and it has given lot of uh, different analysis so if you go down it has given like potentially matched transactions so what transactions it has matched perfectly so it has met the food category and there is no difference so it has uh, uh, given you uh, a, a kind of a analysis for yourself and if you see it has formatted this report It has a grand total, the total difference, and everything is uh, is 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 available for you here to analyze. Now it depends on you that what other analysis you want to do. So on the right hand side, if you also see, it is giving you some uh, some some summary that total of thirteen sets of transactions were perfectly matched, indicated four transactions that were potentially matched. So all all these analysis is given to you. 
now you have an option that uh, you can troubleshoot any specific transaction or you can regenerate that and you can save this into a, 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 a pdf right so you can click on the include to the summary report so you can just add this all the information which you have right the the observations so these are the data sets but you want to add those observations so you can add this to the summary report so your report is ready to view anyone can understand that what data you have reconciled or analyze here or you can just click on the troubleshoot for any specific uh, transactions so you can just uh, if if there is something which is uh, uh, which you can you want to reconcile or you want to troubleshoot further you want to analyze that you can do that also so the point here is to just to give you the overview that uh, this particular tool can be very useful for finance department uh, where they can analyze or predict or uh, uh, play with their data sets like huge data set and copilot for finance can help you to analyze that data and use that data in terms of generating different set of reports and all those things now that's it for this particular video but what I'm going to do is that now I'm going to pick up uh, the features which have been released for Copilot for Finance or Copilot, uh, Copilot and the AI related in Microsoft Dynamics 365. I'll try to uh, create some videos on that and uh, update you and then you can go and then explore these things. So that's it for this video. Hope this helps you to uh, understand this release and thank you for watching this.